Hello, Veteran Owen Twin here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Skies of Arcadia. In between episodes, I was told that my color chart or my elementals were completely wrong. So what I did was, well, actually I was told to go to a certain fact on Game Facts, and that fact is Special Items Fact by Porcupine. Uh, apparently this one teaches you all about a lot of good stuff, like uh, like all the stuff I learned about like enemy defense, attack, um, equipment that actually uh, boosts elemental defense. It goes into specifics about that, gives some monsters and what they drop, you know, some of the better stuff. Uh, that part isn't complete. Um, but yeah, there's some pretty good stuff in this fic that I didn't know. So uh, it's it's pretty nice. I like it. Anywho, enough on that. And, uh, about the colored chart. Basically where I signify a minus is where uh, it's like even more damage. For instance, uh, with red here, minus, it's like 70%. And then same thing with purple. And then the plus over here, that's like 140% of the base damage. And then everything else you see on here that doesn't... Every other color you see that doesn't have a minus or a plus on it, there's only like four of them. But every one you see, that's only going to be uh, plus or minus 10%. So over here on the left side, uh, you're going to get like 90% of the damage uh, with blue or purple if you use it on green over here. And the same is opposite for the right side. It's, like a, it's only like a 10% boost, so really you're not getting a whole lot out of it. But at least I got the colors straight now. Battle should be easier, I hope. Because that last boss battle, I mean, I, I did handle it pretty good, but, I mean, he was kind of tough. And also, it probably didn't help my cause that he got Inkram on uh, that one guy. That, that, and then he started freaking uh, just wailing on us with those freaking special moves, those super moves, which, <laughs> that wasn't cool, man. Oh, it's this guy again. Well, I suppose I better save, because... I didn't do that. All right, so this uh, this little turd's gonna help us escape, huh? Is that what's going on right now? Yeah, what are you doing here, man? Okay. The fuck? Who the hell are these people? Boris the Gunner. Rail car. Some big long bug. Okay. Ooh. Sacred crystals. I like them. I like them too. Although I haven't really been using a whole hell of a lot of magic so far in this game. Luke? The, oh, wait. We talked to this guy before. So yeah, I, I guess these are all the blue rogues then. Okay, yeah. I think I remember this guy too. Yes, we have. We have made it this far, at least. Oh, shit. I wanted to talk to the other two characters, or the other characters that were there. Oh, well. <laughs> huh. Great. Now our dad thinks that we're crazy. Well, they took her somewhere else. The Imperial Palace, okay. Are they gonna use a mind probe on her?
Yeah, I mean, obviously, if they're, they're probably going to try and use a mind probe on her, right? So they can uh, find the plans for something. <laughs> Actually, there, there's... Okay, so this dialogue choice right here... Um, no, you don't want to choose the second choice. Yeah, we got to go save Fina. Hey, all right, we get a yellow moonstone. And now that I have a, a proper color chart, I'll be able to take advantage of it. How is lightning magic? I might have to look in my guide to see what kind of spells they got under under yellow. I haven't looked at yellow, or I don't remember. I know it's like electricity and shit. Uh huh. Okay. So we're going to go to Upper City, sneak aboard a rail car, and go to the palace. Alright. Sounds like a plan, man. Um, yeah, it's too dangerous. That's why we're going to go. Don't tell us not to. Come on. And we get, yes, we get that. Hopefully we won't be doing any fighting in the meantime. And, uh, where's my map? There we go. Well, even if we are, it doesn't matter, I guess. Hmm. I'm going the right way here. It's kind of hard to tell because the map uh, doesn't really show where I came from or the direction I came from because that part isn't filled out. So, can I assume that that stairs leading up would lead to another part of the map that would be displayed differently, maybe? Holy moly, actually these are... No, we got some new enemies here. We have a new enemy, at least Mind Stealer. This ba Basilish might be new. Actually, these, these guys might all be new. So, green or yellow? Green, red. Okay, so we got green and red. So, purple, red. I could try yellow. Yeah, we'll use yellow on these guys. Oh, another thing I, I learned about Ica's super moves. Uh, even though they're magic based, the color of her weapon does not affect them. So, changing her weapon before, he use, before using Alpha Storm does nothing. According to that, that guide. I don't know, if you want to know more specifics, read it yourself. I'm not really going to go into too much about it, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll try Counter-Strike. And I'll have you focus. Bring it on. So, every time Vice gets attacked, he will counterattack. So hopefully I get lucky and they all attack Vice. Or maybe they'll just start running away from us. Or they'll all just attack Ika. Come on, man. Are you fucking shitting me? Alright, is the AI in this game smart enough to not attack Vice when he uses Counter-Strike? Or did I just get really fucking unlucky that round? Either way, it's time for these guys to, uh... Yeah, I'll just go for this guy. Fuck it. Back off! 
Oh man, I forgot to change her fucking. Uh, well, yeah, again, I guess it doesn't matter because uh, Alpha Storm is not affected by element. Um, yeah, that's fine. I suppose I probably want to level up yellow too, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's too bad I, um... It's too bad I didn't have enough fucking SP in the first part of the battle. Oh, you fucking cock. Cheap damage. Yeah, yeah Ike's attack is pretty weak. We did it. It's already pretty weak. It's gonna be pretty weak, I, I'm thinking, from what I've heard the rest of the game. But her super moves are very magically powerful. Or actually, uh, they're good until later on but yeah they're magically good for right now they're magically delicious that sound like a fucking cereal commercial right now I'm retarded okay anyways let's go moving on Eh. Oh, great. Green slime ahead. Lovely. I guess these Drail Nogs might be new. So sure, why not? Um, yeah, I'll try this Counter-Strike thing again. Again, I hope it works. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be kinda mad. I'm probably not gonna use it again. Bring it on. Now freaking attack Vice for a change this time, all right, would you? Oh man, I should use Delta Shield. Oh well. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have because that was kind of a pretty weak attack, anyways. Yes, there we go. Finally, somebody fucking attacked Vice like they were supposed to. Poison explode? Okay, enemies can do shit like that in this game, huh? That's cool. Uh, purple. No, I just want to level up yellow. I, again, it doesn't matter. I keep forgetting. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. With Alpha Storm, element does not matter. So I might as well just keep it yellow. So, basically, how elements work in this game, or elemental defense, I should say, is let's say you have three pieces of equipment that uh, boost your defense against uh, lightning, for example. Uh, each one of those pieces of equipment, or each 
piece of equipment in this game that set, that claims to have elemental defense, it's always by 20%. So if you get uh, two items that resist lightning, you get 40%. And then if you get three, for example, you get a nice 60% lightning reduction. So that could be advantageous for sure. Uh, what is it? Uh, why? And besides, you know, in RPGs, when somebody says impossible, usually that means that you can accomplish it, right? Or if they tell you don't go to a dangerous place, that's exactly where you're going to go anyways, because that's where the plot wants you to go. Yeah, exactly, and how the hell are you supposed to discover anything if you don't take a chance? You know, you got to be a risk taker sometimes. Silvite? You mean like a silver person? Oh, oh this is Te. Wait a minute, this is Teodora? Doesn't she kind of look like? Um, doesn't she kind of look like the fucking uh, the evil stepmother in Cinderella? And does she have wings? Or is that just a weird part of her dressing back there? Yeah, you're talking about clothes, but uh, I'm looking at yours and... I don't know, lady. Looks like you got wings back there, but I'm not sure if those are just for, for show or, if, or what. Wow, this bitch is just as evil as uh, the evil stepmother, for sure. Enrique. This guy's the prince. Is he gonna be like that fucking sp that prince in Spaceballs? You know, the guy that yawns all the time? Come <laughs> <laughs> you know that guy? Oh. Okay. Weapons of mass destruction? Oh my god. Wait a minute, what year did this game come out again? 2000? So that was before 
So they weren't ripping off George Bush here, I guess, apparently. Or maybe maybe they uh, retranslated the GameCube version. I don't know. Gigas. When the Gigas are ours, we shall rule the world. What Gigas? You mean, you mean the crystals actually control some powerful Gigas creatures that we can use to destroy the planet and people and... Are they as cool as the Bionis and the Mechanis in, in Xenoblade Chronicles? Probably not. <laughs> but still. Ooh, nice laugh. I like that. Oh boy. Kill the little witch off with her head! <laughs> oh, that's a great uh, Alice in Wonderland reference there, right? That's mean, man. Huh? So, how exactly are the Silvites supposed to help with getting these moonstones exactly? I mean, what makes these people so friggin' special about it? I mean, what 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 power do they have to 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 allow? I don't know, maybe they explained that already and I'm just not paying attention. Ramirez, huh? Yes, your majesty. Ooh. I like the voice acting in this game. You know, they give you just enough Does she know him or something? Or, or what's going on there? Anyways, this seems like a good time to end the episode. So that's all for this episode of Skies of Arcadia. And in the next episode, we're going to explore Upper Valua. And we're going to try and find our way into the palace to save Fina from, from whatever the hell they're going to have to do to her to make her lead them to the fucking Gigases. This is Veteran0121, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.